Okay, you guys, so this is part of another uh, TTC video update. Um, and the reason for making another one so soon is because I was looking back uh, through my videos and I could have sworn that I had already made a, vi a video uh, mentioning this to you guys, but I didn't. And looking through all the research that I've done and everything, I'm like, oh my God, how can I have not made this video by now because this is like a great discovery that I didn't know about either and I want to share with you with you ladies and it's regarding the benefits of honey and cinnamon and I had never heard of this in my life before but um I've been googling it a lot and found tons of articles that back it up and say that honey and cinnamon together is great uh, for boosting your fertility. So I have an article here that I found and I just want to read it to you guys really quick so you could have more or less an idea what exactly is that it does and maybe you guys could benefit from it. I, I had forgotten to mention to you guys when I went through all the herbs and stuff that I take including the maca and everything I forgot to mention to you guys that I started doing the honey cinnamon thing and I really don't know because I've been doing it for a while how could I have forgotten to do this video I really could have sworn that I had done it but I guess with all the things that I have on my mind I totally forgot so um I'm sorry for not making it earlier but now I am so here we go okay and this is what it says if you're trying for a baby and you know for a fact there is nothing medically wrong to stop you from conceiving it could be simply that you are trying too hard However, we can give your chances of conceiving a real boost by using the benefits of honey and cinnamon together to get you off to a flying start. My suggestions are for both of you. After all, you are both trying for a baby. It's so important you share this experience right away from the word go. Are there some good food, sorry, are there some good foods to help with conception? The benefits of cinnamon as a use for encouraging contraception are used wisely in many societies and there's even reason for you to try this when trying for a baby. There are many types of cinnamon supplements on the market but personally I like real cinnamon commonly known as cinnamon quillings which I grind myself. I always keep a tub of cinnamon capsules or cinnamon supplement of some kind just in case I run out. And it goes without saying, you should use a really good raw honey if you can get it, or at least a good organic honey. Cinnamon and honey form incredible flavors, which not only taste nice, but are fantastic when combined together for some very tasty recipes. And that's totally true because um, at first, when I, when I started taking the cinnamon and honey together, um, I take a, ta uh, a teaspoon of it. Uh, no twice daily, once in the morning and once at night. And at first it's like a little shocking, you know, cause it's like strong. But then afterwards it's like amazing. I don't know, it's, it really is like, it gives you a boost and it's not, it's not that bad whatsoever. Um, okay, honey contains almost every vitamin, mineral and essential, essential ingredient, including water. We need to sustain life and keep us healthy. Even modern scientists agree and recognize that honey contains an antimicrobial agent, which means it can stop the growth of bacteria and is an excellent natural food source. It has been proved beyond any doubt that it is a highly concentrated form of natural energy and is the only food that will not deteriorate. It can never spoil. So that's awesome. I had no idea that honey could never spoil. That's cool to know. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, why is this so difficult to conceive? Quite often, there is a very simple explanation as to why conception is slow to take place. One of those is that you are not taking things slow yourself. Perhaps you are exercising too much and putting too much strain on your body, or you could be working too hard. You may be tired, stressed, depressed, or literally just run down and overdoing things in general. You need a fertility boost 
We all deserve the best, and I wish you both the best of luck. Actually, we make our own luck, and you two are going to be very lucky indeed because you're trying for a baby, and of course, the benefits of honey combined with the benefits of cinnamon are really going to help you here. Can I help my body conceive? To optimize our bodies and immune systems, we need to learn to relax more and eat he healthily. At times, it's nice to switch the TV off and play some lovely relaxing music or maybe pick up that book we've been meaning to read for ages. Now that I read that part, it takes me back to, um, I read somewhere, actually, I'm a Helena Bonham Carter fan. And a while back, I was reading, um... An interview they did to her I think with her second child uh, she was trying to conceive her second child in, in her 40s already so uh, she was having trouble and um, her doctor or midwife I, I don't know but they they recommend that that she just like relax and listen to some Mozart and um, and she just started drinking like a lot of peppermint tea also and she said it was amazing like those relaxation techniques techniques was actually what helped her conceive um so you know and i love listening to classical music it is very relaxing indeed so if you're having like a very stressful day it, it's just like a great idea to just kick back relax it's true just turn off the tv lay in bed read a book and put some mozart in the background beethoven whatever um it's amazing. I mean, it just if obviously if you don't have like the music, just go to YouTube, look it up and just let it play in the background and it's just simply amazing and relaxing. <clears throat> okay, so um where is that bite? Okay. Both are lovely ways to relax and what about a nice gentle walk instead of those crazy workouts? That's true. A far better way to exercise unless of course you're training for the Olympics. And relax as often as you can. When you get back from that walk, forget about the glass of wine. Alcohol is never good when trying for a baby. I have no problem in that department because my husband and I are not drinkers. We've never really been. So once in a blue moon, maybe to celebrate like the new year or something or an anniversary, we'll have like a cup of wine. But we really don't drink ever. So... <clears throat> if you need a relaxing drink, have a glass of warm milk topped up with the benefits of honey and the benefits of cinnamon. It's so lovely, you will soon relax. We all suffer at times with the ordinary stress of daily life, but in the case of trying for a baby, we really do need to learn how to treat ourselves a little more kindly. If we don't, it can be very detrimental to our health and we want to get your body up to scratch so that conception can be optimized fully. Stress and worry does not help at all when trying for a baby. Try not to worry. Everything comes to those who wait. Sometimes our immune systems are not working correctly and our blood may, be, may have deficiencies of which we are not aware but will make us feel tired and run down. <clears throat> for these reasons alone, we need to rectify these symptoms to enable our bodies to work and perform correctly. Okay, now getting to the nitty gritty. <laughs> How does honey and cinnamon help with conception? The use of honey and cinnamon will boost the blood supply to your reproductive areas by 2,000%. Wow, that's amazing. 2,000%. Not 100, but 2,000. Which will, of course, help to improve them ready for conception to take place. The benefits of honey will improve your overall health and the benefits of cinnamon will serve to give you an added extra boost. These recommendations are for both female and male infertility and so as a together thing you can help to support each other which is a nice thing. Yet another benefit of cinnamon is its aphrodisiacal properties. And that's another way for you to exercise together but try not to rush. Increasing fertility should be loving and fun. <clears throat> Please be aware as most often with the most with most things, time plays a big contrib contrib contributor. Oh my God, contributory factor. <laughs> so don't become stressed if it doesn't happen overnight. It will be well worth the wait when you little one when your little one arrives. The ar the article actually has a typo, so that wasn't me. <laughs> okay, 
Now, now you have decided together to treat yourselves more kindly and you have resolved to relax more. Here is where the benefits of honey and cinnamon will help to boost your chances of boosting your fertility. Please do check with your doctor to make sure there is not a medical problem. Have a look at medical benefits of honey. Okay, and they have a link. But How much honey and cinnamon should we use to help when trying for a baby? Every morning and every evening, take two teaspoonfuls of honey, the best you can find, and sprinkle with one teaspoonful of fresh cinnamon powder. Now you can eat this straight from a spoon or stir it into a not too hot herbal tea or even blend with some fresh fruit to make a yummy smoothie. So long as you don't overheat the honey, which will spoil its amazing qualities, it really doesn't matter how you eat it. Yet another great tip is to make a paste with honey and cinnamon, which you can rub into your gums as often as you like throughout your now more relaxing day. It will be absorbed slowly into your blood, thus cleansing it of any impurities and will build up your health and strength, all of which you will need when your little bundle of joy arrives. Trust me there, I know the energy you will need. <laughs> As an added extra boost to your health, try including a propolis supplement also. My good friend Barry runs an excellent website. It's www.chiropractive-help.com. He has some excellent suggestions which may help you further. You can read Barry's suggestion here. And it has a link. I'm going to put a link below to this article when I'm done reading it to you guys anyway, but I thought I'd make the video and explain more to you guys as I read along. I do hope this article will help you to achieve your greatest wish, that of a beautiful, healthy baby. It never ceases to amaze me when I discover even more benefits of honey and uses of honey. And although you are now being kind to yourself, please remember to be kind if you have twins. Oh, God. And don't name them Honey and Cinnamon. Unless they're both girls, of course, and actually I think that sounds quite sweet. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the um, for the article. But now you guys know about a, a a new thing that I'm sure most of you ladies haven't heard because I hadn't I hadn't heard about it till recently, and I think it's amazing. Um, this article doesn't mention it, but another one that I had read after that one said, um, I know maybe. Some of you ladies who battle with PCOS and are watching this video now are probably thinking, okay, but, you know, I have PCOS. I have to stay away from sweets and stuff like that. So how is honey going to benefit me? Well, I read that actually, uh, since you're not taking it constantly, you're taking it like as a medicine. You're not just like eating honey all the time and putting honey in everything. Um, you're actually taking it in teaspoonfuls, um. It works as a medicine in your system. So if you have PCOS, you have nothing to worry about because it's not going to um, get all your insulin levels out of whack or anything like that. Um, so you have nothing to worry about. And I know that's probably crossed many people's minds because I know it crossed mine. As I was reading it, I was wondering, you know, but what if you have PCOS? But no worries whatsoever. Anyway, you guys have Google. You could Google it and you could read many other articles that talk about it but I just had to make this video because every time I discover something new I I vlog about it and now while I was going through my videos I was like I really could have sworn that I had made this video before and I didn't and I'm like oh my god how could I have not mentioned this already to the ladies <laughs> so yeah you guys now you know cinnamon and honey and it's super easy and it's not it's not disgusting whatsoever um, at least to me, it's not. And it has, not only is it like, it has great benefits for the fertility, but it says for men, it works as an aphrodisiac. And also for your breath, it's amazing. Like if you make a habit of it every day, your breath will always be fresh as if you just finished brushing your teeth. It's, it's amazing. It works for so many things. So you guys Google it, uh, research it, get into it, and start doing it because any little thing that you do could help. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it educational. And I know that I'm doing my part, so you guys go ahead and do yours, and good luck. 
and lots of baby dust to you all. Bye for now.